This first twister was one of 148 that comprised the April 1974 super outbreak and barely missed the communities of Muncie and Parker City, Indiana. The death and damage was relatively limited for a severe twister, which was rated F4. One person was killed, but that figure could have easily been higher, as many vehicles can be seen emerging from the highway just seconds before the tornado crosses it. On April 27, 2011, many inhabitants of northeastern Mississippi bore witness to the first F5 or EF5 tornado in the state in nearly 50 years. Several motorists were in the right place at the right time, capturing the tornado's ferocity while narrowly avoiding being caught by it themselves. Oh shit! That son of a bitch is more coming. Joe, where's Joe at? Oh, fuck, boys, that's it. Where's Joe's Joe? Under the bridge. Joe's under the bridge? You going under the bridge? Hey, you going under the bridge? Ah, oh, oh, fuck, guys. Well, hell, there it is. We're going to get up under the bridge. Let's go. Yeah, we are. Holy crap, boys. I swear. Y'all know this thing can't change directions. <laughs> All right, boys. I think that's about as close as I want her to get. Yeah. It's going on the other side of the road. It's going, it's going around us. It's going around us. Hey, y'all, there is a tornado headed your way. Right here at Molly Cops is on the Alright, let's get up under the bridge. Oh, Fuck this, dude. Holy crap, man. Boys, we can be on storm chasers. Picking itself up. Oh, it's rebuilding what it's doing. And here comes the, rain. the Philadelphia tornado was so powerful that it scoured the ground to a maximum depth of nearly two feet along its path and threw trees like javelins while wiping homes off their foundation slabs. It tore cars apart and threw some of them so hard that they were wrapped around trees. The carnage inflicted on a person in its path would have been unspeakable. But fortunately, the human consequences of such a powerful tornado were limited to three deaths and eight injuries. The month of May 2013 featured a large degree of extreme tornado activity in the state of Oklahoma, including the widest tornado ever recorded 
near El Reno. Alan Gwynn and James Anderson were two storm chasers on site to witness the terrifying spectacle, including a moment where their vehicle is battered by straight line winds and another when it is nearly swept away by one of the storm's vortices, which had cut a house in half just across the field from them. Adding to the frightening situation are the harrowing encounters of other chasers who can be heard over Gwyn and Anderson's radio.
Is that no, that's straight line winds. That's RFD. Uh, In the aftermath, the National Weather Service called this tornado the most dangerous of all time for storm observers. Of the eight people who lost their lives, half were professional or amateur storm chasers. While the El Reno tornado may have received an official rating of EF3 due to a shortage of damage to structures, had wind speeds alone been considered, it would have been rated an F5 on the old Fujita scale or tornado classification. This video was shot by a family in the path of an F5 tornado that hit Chandler, Minnesota on June 16th, 1992. When it is filmed, it seems like it cannot fit in the view from the window. The short, panicked, and grainy footage of the looming twister makes it seem as though it is about to swallow them whole. There it is. There's the tornado. Going north. Oh, maybe keep going north. Going about right, heading right towards Port South LA. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, kind of towards Post a little bit, towards South. Hmm. Don't know where it's heading, but it's the outside of it is hitting us. Okay, all the hits. Hmm, this is pretty bad though. We better, we better go down base. No, that's bad. Yeah, bigger, bigger. Bad. Look at the stuff up in there. Yep. Swirling around up in here. Getting bigger. Please don't come here. Oh, holy cow. Holy cow. That ain't very far away at all. One person was killed in this storm, while 40 were hurt. Across town, 165 homes were damaged, of which 75 were completely destroyed all of which were staggering figures in a community of only a few hundred. It would be the last F5 tornado in the United States until another such tornado hit Oakfield, Wisconsin in 1996. This footage was taken by John Martin of Dawson Springs, Kentucky, when a violent EF4 tornado cut through his community in the middle of the night. Moving northeast at a forward speed of 60 miles per hour, with powerful winds over three times as strong, the tornado can be heard approaching with increasing intensity until the terrifying moment that it strikes the Martins' home.
The wall on which this camera was mounted collapsed when the tornado struck. But all of the Martin family survived by taking shelter in the bathroom, which put as many walls between them and the twister as possible.